And now this field is in motion. They're going to straighten out onto the back stretch and uh, get ready for this three-year-old Colton Gelding trot off his performance last week to Milo Hanover. Appears to be the one to beat. We're going to find out right now in this event. They're off and trotting along the rail, taking command to Milo Hanover right alongside Esquire Spur. And moving out right now in between horses, that is Flying Irishman. Coming away on the inside, Rapido followed right there on the outside. It's Egyptian Gentleman coming back to Keystone Dominator, Park Avenue Joe and Pro. They trot around the first turn, and on top it is the Milo Hanover. Flying Irishman is right there on the outside. Esquire Spur has tucked himself in neatly third. They open up the mile with a good quarter, 28 and one fifth. And now they trot by the stands the first time to Milo Hanover. Bern Lindstedt checks the field behind him. On the outside, trotting second, Flying Irishman at the rail. Esquire Spur is right there. The Egyptian gentleman, second over fourth. Rapido hugs the rail, fifth, followed by Keystone Dominator, Probe, and Park Avenue Joe has made a break. Park Avenue Joe off stride. Heading to the half to Milo Hanover, and he's still got a snug hold on him. On the outside, a flying Irishman going a tough mile at the rail. Esquire spur third. The half went in 57 seconds flat. That second quarter, 28 and four. They are now on to the back stretch, and it's still the Milo Hanover, a little more than a lane. Flying Irishman on the outside, and now Egyptian gentleman is being set up three wide. Esquire spur is at the rail, and right there he needs racing room. Keystone Dominator going up, followed by Rapido and Probe, but the Milo Hanover has been on top at every call and he leads the field by three quarters in 126 and four fifths. They're bunching up as they head for home. To Milo Hanover at the rail. And now Esquire Spur is free and closing in on him. It's a two-horse battle. To Milo Hanover put to the whip. Esquire Spur going right on by after the perfect pocket trip. Esquire Spur now drawing clear to Milo Hanover and Keystone Dominator. It's Esquire Spur in front. The mile in 156 and 1. Squire Spur improving all the time. Impressive last week at Pompano. A winner in the Breeders' Crown, unofficially, in 156 and 1. The combination of Dick Stillings, the trainer driver, and owner Roy Davis have combined for many a spur. Cowboy Spur, Gunslinger Spur, Barberry Spur, Kentucky Spur, who you'll see later tonight. Now a champion, I guess an unexpected champion in Esquire Spur. I have a hunch that he wasn't that unexpected to Dick Stillings. He knew this week that he had this horse right, and he, as he told Ellie, he said, when he's right and I'm right, we're going to be tough. He was here. Brent Lindstedt took the Milo Hanover over the front, tried for a wire-to-wire -wire victory as he engineered last week. But uh, Stillings had gotten right in behind, had a perfect trip, as they say in harness racing, and when he came out at the head of the stretch, as you see here, he had plenty of horse, simply overpowered him with Esquire Spur, who is a three-year-old son of a stallion called Joie who stands in New Jersey, and uh, who is owned by two attorneys from Pittsburgh, Ed Beachler and John Townsend, and Roy Davis of McMurray, Pennsylvania, and uh, Davis's regular trainer driver, Dick Stillings, is the winner with Esquire Spur. Somebody asked Dick Stillings last week, how come we don't know much about Esquire Spur? He says, you haven't been to many qualifiers. Early in the year, he was spending a lot of time at small racetracks, at major racetracks, but in qualifiers, and now a big-time colt. Esquire Spur, unofficial winner in the three-year-old Colt and Gelding Trot, will return to Pompano. Let's go to John Pavlar. Down here in the winner's circle, a little bit of rain coming down, but there's sunshine in the life of Dickie Stillings. Dickie, where's this one been all year? Well, we've been kind of... First of all, I want to say hello to my wife. She's sick at home and didn't make the trip, but uh, he's just been coming on the last month, and uh, right now we're pretty tickled with him. You know, as the field turned for home, Dickie, you look to be buried along the rail following the favorite, covered up on the outside, nowhere to go. Well, you looked... I couldn't beat the one horse out of the gate, so I looked to take a two-hole trip. I just ho hoped my horse would uh, respond by sitting in the hole. Lately, sometimes he gets in a hole, he gets a little rammy, but tonight the speed was great and we got along good. This has been a great division all year long. Let's talk now briefly with Roy Davis, one of the owners from down Pennsylvania Way. Roy, you think you got a shot at three-year-old Trotton Colt? No, I don't think we have a 
shot three old trotting coat and uh, I, all Dick and I want to do is win a three old coat pace tonight and uh, we'll be happy to have two breeders crowns. One, maybe two for Roy Davis, Dick Stillings. We'll know a little later tonight. Let's go back to uh, to uh, Dick Stillings. Should we get Dickie is already talking to some of the press so let's go back up to Bruce Beck. Thank you, John. Esquire Spur, your race winner, Park Avenue Joe, wearing the camera was off stride early around the first turn. And you can see the ceremonies in the beautiful front paddock area here at Pompano as Esquire Spur and Dick Stillings and Roy Davis will hear some plaudits, I would think, tonight. Stillings is probably one of the most underrated, although in recent years he's been coming on, horseman in the business. He's one of the finest selectors of yearlings in this sport. Great percentage. And the prices and the race is now official. Esquire Spur returning 1160, 340, and 240. DeMilo Hanover second, two dollars and forty cents and two ten. Keystone Dominator third, two dollars and forty cents. Time of the mile one fifty six and one. The Perfecta here at Pompano twenty dollars and forty cents. There are lots of different exotic bets at Pompano, and we're not going to show you all of them, but we will show you the winner circle. Dick Stillings winning the Breeders' Crown with Esquire Spur and later tonight I'll have a chance to come back with Kentucky Spur but Esquire Spur the winner of the three-year-old Colt and Gelding Trot.